wonderful performers. I am Randy Williams, and I am Vice President and Associate Provost for Inclusive Excellence. Welcome to the sixth annual Donning of the Kente Ceremony. The Donning of the Kente serves as a cultural event celebrating the achievements of our undergraduate and graduate students who recognize their African roots. The Donning is meant to be a positive and memorable experience that rewards students and their families with a personal and culturally relevant ceremony. To that end, I encourage you to shout cheers of joy, stamp your feet with praises, display all expressions of celebration for our graduates this evening. Are you with me? All right, all right. And if there are any good bros out there who want to set out a hop, please be inclined to do so. Roo, roo, roo. But first, I invite all family members to stand and receive our warm and hearty appreciation for the service, the love, the care that you have given to your students. Thank you. Thank you, Ubuntu. I am because we are. Ubuntu, I am because we are. Today, each graduate will be adorned with a handmade kente cloth, which represents the cultural, spirituality, sophistication, and immaculate tradition of our ancestors. As the video is displaying above, the Akan kente cloth you will receive today is especially unique as it is hand-woven for you in a village located in Bonwir, Ghana. Our graduates will experience the pride, heritage, and culture of the Kente through this celebration of achievement. At this time, will all alumni, faculty, staff, and university administrators please stand. In the pursuit of excellence, many members of the Elon community have led the way by offering guidance and support for students throughout this journey. We would like to acknowledge the contributions and commitments of our university president, Dr. Connie Ledoux Book, our provost, Dr. Swani Valetti, members of our senior staff, faculty and staff, and also the Elon Black Alumni Network. Please help us in thanking this supportive faculty, staff, administrators, and alumni. Thank you, you may be seated. Now I would like to welcome Elon Black Alumni Network President Akila Weaver, Class of 2000, for a welcome. Since we're recognizing our Greek sisters, My name is Akila Weaver, and I currently serve as the president of the Elon Black Alum Alumni Network, which is also lovingly referred to as EBAN. I am excited to be here tonight to congratulate all our graduates and to officially welcome you into the EBAN family. The Elon Bla Black Alumni Network seeks to unite and represents the interest of black alumni and strive to empower, connect, and celebrate Elon's black community. As an official affinity network, EBAN connects alumni through various social, cultural, educational, and community service events, and seeks to promote and sustain general alumni contributions to, to the university through the Black Alumni Scholarship. One of EBAN's many important initiatives includes tonight's Donning of the Kente Ceremony, which seeks to recognize the academic, professional and personal achievements of graduates as you transition into alumni of Elon University. With that said, I ask that you turn your attention to the screen. This is an Adinkra symbol, which was originally created by the Akan tribe in Ghana. This symbol is called Eban, which translates to fence and reflects a symbol of love, safety, and security. Eban is a place where you can feel safe, affirmed, 
validated, and at home. As you begin your journey in the world as a black scholar, know that, you, that your patience will be tried, your intelligence will be tested, your character will be attacked, and your blackness may even be questioned. But stay true to self. Enjoy life. Live life. Take risk. Be different. Be bold. Be daring. And have fun. You are black excellence. As you continue your walk into greatness, find the strength and courage to overcome your moments of adversity, for your battles will not be in vain. Your life has much to gain. Remember, man gives you the award, but God gives you the reward. On behalf of over 2,200 black alumni, <laughs> On behalf of over 2,200 black alumni, we welcome you into the Elam Black Alumni Network and look forward to being home base to each of you for years to come. As a symbol of this transition, after you are donned, you will be greeted by an EBAN member who will pin your stole with an official Elon alumni pin. Now at this time, please help us welcome Simone Royal to the stage. Thank you, Akila, for your dedication and service to Elon University and for sharing such an inspirational message. Good evening. My name is Simone Royal and I serve as the Assistant Director for the Center for Race, Ethnicity, and Diversity Education. At this time, we will begin the adorning of stoles for our graduating students. Prior to the ceremony, graduates indicate an individual who has made a tremendous impact on their Elon experience and will have the honor of donning them with their stole. Each graduate's name will be read by a faculty member, along with a statement that was submitted on behalf of the student. At that time, the graduate and the individual donning the graduate will walk up to the stage, and the student will be adorned with their kente stole. Once the stole has been placed, the graduate will walk to the left of the stage to receive an Elon pin from an alum, thus officially welcoming them into the Elon alumni family. At, that, at this time, we are going to have graduates line up one row at a time to cross the stage. If you are donning the graduate, we ask that you please stand and join them in line once your graduate is up and standing. The faculty readers will go in this order. Cheryl Miller Dice, Damian Blake, Jessica Carew, Rochelle Ford, Musa Idris, and Portia Wade. Good evening. My name is Cheryl Miller Dice. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Education and I am the executive director of diversity, equity, and inclusion in the School of Ed. Welcome. Our first name, Anaya Adams. Anaya, I had no doubt that you would excel and flourish here at Elon University. You came into the world curious and inquisitive, and you have blossomed into such a passionate and knowledge-seeking young woman. You continue to push yourself out of your comfort zone to grow and seek a greater understanding. I respect your perseverance, and I admire your drive. I am so proud of you and all of your accomplishments. I look forward to the amazing moments that will unfold in your next chapter. I am truly blessed to be your mom, and I pray you never stop chasing your dreams. Yeah. Jalen Alexander. 
Jalen, during the past four years, you've embraced every challenge with hard work, determination, talent, and fearlessness. Qualities that you have exhibited through your entire life. Now, as an Elon Honors graduate with two degrees, take a moment, <laughs> smile, and pat yourself on the back for all you've accomplished and for all you will accomplish. Continue to walk your path in faith and show the world your greatness. Your dad and I are honored to be your parents and are immensely proud of you, Mom. Naya Banks. Naya, I'm so proud of the woman you have become. You have truly been a gift that I'm grateful to share with the world. Your quiet strength and remarkable talent enables you to strive for excellence. I admire your courage to forge ahead when you are unsure or afraid. Your warm spirit leaves a lasting impression on anyone you meet. Do not change who you are or compromise what you believe to be true. These last four years you spent at Elon allowed you to spread your wings and soar even higher. I can't wait to see the goodness and many blessings God has in store for you in the next chapter of your life. Keep trusting, believing, and knowing that your, that your steps have already been ordered. You make me proud to be your mom and your friend. I love you, mom. <laughs> Joycelyn Bentley. <laughs> Joycelyn, when I first met you, I could tell that you were intelligent, insightful, and had it together in a way that is very rare for a college student. And I'm so glad that I, that I got to be your research mentor and get to know you even better. I got to see you find so much joy in your own scholarship and gain confidence in your abilities and your knowledge. And I learned so much from you. In your research, in your coursework, and in your life, you have consistently demonstrated the human meaning, that human meaning is forged through personal connection it is a truth that you bring to every space of your life and that you model with sincerity and integrity. You, you have reminded me to return more attentively to the personal connection in my own life and work, which means that I will be a better person and a better scholar for having known you. Crystal Brown. Chris, Crystal, your compassion and dedication are evident by your accomplishments. For seven years, you have raised monies for youth scholarships, coordinated an annual gospel festival in recognition of the first African Americans to enlist in the United States Marine Corps, and their contributions to the United States history. Your commitment to the Montford Point Marines and your community are beyond commendable. There is not enough room to begin to detail your measurable accomplishments. Being the child of two Marines is far from easy, and oftentimes we don't tell you enough how proud we are. Your positive, can-do attitude lights up any room you enter. Your, your talent, excuse me, your talents and creativity was never meant to be placed in a box or caged. Your leadership skills and initiative are exemplary. These words are not, are not given to you, you have earned them. Because of your values, who you are, and what you stand for, you have earned the admiration of so many people. Continue to soar and always allow God to be your compass. <laughs> Jasmine Bryant. <laughs> My dearest Jasmine, 
I know that this journey you embarked upon four years ago did not play out the way you envisioned it. You had dreams, goals, and aspirations of helping to build a soccer program here, as well as being the face of a program that desperately needed to recruit more student athletes that looked like you. During this time, you had to recover from an ACL tear and get accustomed to a coaching staff that didn't recruit you, yet you persevered and stayed the course. You have grown into a phenomenal young woman, and there aren't enough words in the human lexicon to express how proud I am. This is just the beginning of your happy ending. Keep God first, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Also, keep shooting for the moon, because if you miss, you will still be among the stars. I love you like there's no end in sight. Love always, your twin dad. <laughs> <laughs> Zo Zoe Butler. Dear Zoe, I can, I can still vividly remember the day we dropped you off at Elon. I was excited about the new journey that you were about to embark on, but missed you dearly. Fast forward four years later. Along the way, you have fully embraced opportunities to grow. You have faced and conquered some challenges. Demonstrating, tr demonstrating tremendous strength and character. You have blossomed into an exemplary young woman who is even more committed, empathetic, compassionate, and undoubtedly true to yourself. I am so proud of the woman you have become and for all you have achieved. I'm eagerly looking forward to you fulfilling your God-given purpose. Remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Philippians 4 and 13. I am truly blessed, honored, and humbled to be your mother. I love you, and know that for you, the sky is the limit. Soar, my Zoe. <laughs> Samantha Cabell. <laughs> Samantha, congratulations on reaching the finish line your time at Elon has been unique. You have faced interruptions ranging from a hurricane to a global pandemic. Your father and I are so proud that you have weathered all these adversities with both grace and determination. You are an exemplary student and wonderful role model for your sister. Thank you for setting the bar high. You are truly a hard act to follow. After being a student for the past 17 years, we are excited to see you embarked on the next phase of your journey. We know that your sweet spirit, humble attitude, and work ethic will continue to propel you to excellence. We love you and are happy to celebrate this milestone with you. Jasmine Campbell. My dearest Jasmine, it has been my pleasure to watch you grown and become the woman you are over the, these last four years. Watching and loving each, each iteration of who you are to who you have become has been nothing but a joy. I know these last four years have been, have been anything but easy. At times, the road has been exceedingly dark and the trials have risen before you like mountains but you have accomplished so much that has, set you, that, that has set out to break you. Getting to be part of your journey has been one of the highest points of my career. It is always hard to watch as students you love and protect and fought for, for transition into the next phase, next stage, because you know how hard the world can be. But I know that you are more ready than you know. You have more strength than you know and will see and feel more beauty than you know. Jazz, you always deserve love. You always deserve the best things. Because you are love and you are the best things. I am so glad to let you into my life. I love you, Bambi. <laughs> I 
Ashayla Chairs. <laughs> From the moment we saw you, we knew you'd become a hellraiser, that you were flipping tables and taking names. You draw out of people things that they never could have imagined. You unite families, communities, and students alike, all while being a very loud catalyst for change. Quiet was never really your style. You are a revolutionary. You have, you have a vision for this world, and every move you make inspires and creates new Hellraisers. To my little sister, my baby sister, I hope you always remember that we are here whenever you need to rest and refuel before you set things ablaze again. <laughs> Never doubt your impact. The waves you created are still crashing. To our little Hellraiser, whatever comes next, remember that you are deserving, worthy, and can rest when you want to. But most of all, set it ablaze the, only, the way only you can. Lauren Clark. Lauren, I remember meeting you in my Elon 101 class, when class your first year while you were still finding your voice and your way at Elon. I am grateful that our paths crossed again later in your Elon career, and we've been able to reconnect over the past couple of years. You exhibit the fortitude, persistence, and resilience that so many young people need today. Even in the face of adversity, you have shown such determination in pursuing your passions, reinventing your identity, and working to make incremental changes in the community. I know all these traits will serve you well in your future endeavors. I can't wait to see you leave your mark on the world. Congratulations, Lauren. Good evening. My name is Damien Blake. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Political Science and Policy Studies, and also the faculty fellow within the Center for Race, Ethnicity, and Diversity Education here at Elon. Let's go. Joel Davis. I was surprised when you told me you were interested in physical therapy, but looking back now, I can't imagine you choosing anything else. Everyone in the family is so proud of you. It was a challenge. We all knew what you were in for. Your determination and effort kept you on top of your classes, even when it may not have felt like you were. Your hard work encouraged me to make sure I finished my own, and words will never express how proud I am of you and honored I am to be your brother. Now, we have both completed just this first part of our journey. So, let's take a moment and celebrate. Job well done, Joel. Samantha Dominguez. Samantha, I have said this before, that you arrive dancing to your own beat saying, quote, take notice world, I am here, end quote. Watching you in action has been so amazing and exciting. You have always been a whirlwind of activity and achievement, striving to be the very best version of yourself. Your time at Elon has been filled with success, honors fellow, Black Excellence Phoenix Award, Phi Beta Kappa, Fulbright, CWA Championship, and all tournament team just to name a few. I admire that you have always been in hot pursuit of your own agenda and passions and not afraid to meet new, unexpected challenges head on. But even more so, I am proud of the way you go about your day-to-day -day life with compassion and love for others. When you decided to go to Elon, you said, quote, I think I will like the person I will be when I graduate, end quote. 
well, my dear, I love you and adore the person you have become. You are destined to do great things, and I can hardly wait for the next chapter. I am in awe of you. Love, Mom. Charles Alexandra Dunkley. Charles Alexandra, I remember the day mom brought you home from the hospital, how tiny and fragile you were. Little did I know how much I needed you, how much the world needed you, how your fragility would turn into tenacity, how you would blossom to command attention with the sound of your gentle footprints, how in the face of adversity, you'd be resilient, and oh my, how much candy you could devour when our, when our parents weren't looking. My sweet, tiny baby sister, look at how far you have come. You make our family proud. As you walk across this stage today, I'm sure you have lots of, a lot of questions about what your future holds. I'm here to tell you to stay, to be flexible, because plans will change and adulting is hard. The world is full of qualified newly grants. However, there is only one you. She, Alexandra, you are confident, kind, hardworking, a team player, and full of integrity. You are phenomenal. You are a queen. God put you here because the world needs you to take this step and walk in your power. Siani Foy. Siani, four years ago, you were somewhat hesitant about your college choice because you were seeking to pursue your college career in a more diverse environment. With much encouragement, you began your journey at Elon, not knowing that your time there would be your most diverse experience thus far. From your academic studies to your classmates and professors, to your volunteer work and the opportunity to study abroad for a semester. You have experienced a lifetime of opportunities that many would envy. You gave the last four years more than your best. You have made an indelible mark on campus and the surrounding Elon community and abroad. And for this, we are very proud. I know you will continue to achieve the highest of achievements and impact others positively while doing it. We love you and celebrate you today. <laughs> Ethan Gabriel. <laughs> Ethan, in the last four years, I've watched you grow into an outstanding man. It has been such an honor to see your determination and drive come together. As you close your collegiate chapter, may the dedication you have shown help you to meet each opportunity for achievement and success, and may your commitment and knowledge lead you to a future filled with happiness. Never forget to put your best foot forward and to always follow your dreams. Congratulations, Ethan. I am so proud of you. Love, Mom. Matisse Gilmore. <laughs> to my granddaughter, Matisse, there are so many emotions attached to this moment. Thankfulness, adoration, excitement, and above all else, pride. I thank God that I get to celebrate you and your accomplishments on this day. Generations have passed and new ones will come, and I see the future in you. I have such adoration for our relationship, Matisse. Our conversations have left me in awe of your maturity and genuine kindness that you have for others. And I have loved every single moment of our time together, more than you will ever know. Thank you for loving me, Matisse. 
As a family, we are beyond excited to see what your future holds. As you continue this life's journey, you will face many challenges. Always remember to do your best and believe in yourself. And most importantly, all things are possible through Jesus Christ. Matisse, I am so proud of you. As I always say, you have been ordained for success from your mother's womb. Follow the path that has been laid before you. Lindsay Gray. Yeah. Lindsay, as you know by now, college days go by swiftly. It felt like yesterday you were moving into the dorm your freshman year. I remember looking at your facial expressions while you explored your new world at Elon. Now I'm excited to see you standing at the edge of a beautiful new chapter in your life. Graduation is finally here. While you may be nervous or uncertain on the road ahead, just remember you can do anything you put your mind to. If you ever run into in inevitable challenges in life, remember that a person is not great because they haven't failed. A person is great because their failures haven't stopped them. I am proud to be your brother and will always support you. Love, Ben. Chuck Hanna. <laughs> Chuck, getting to know you has been like playing an amazing basketball game. The warm-up was smooth as you fit in so quickly on your recruiting visit. You were immediately an integral part of our team, the glue holding it all together. We got tighter year after year. That was tested early with a coaching change that you didn't expect but you embraced it and proved that you don't have to be recruited by a coach for them to believe in everything you bring to the court. You will go down as one of the strongest leaders in Elon's basketball history. You are the one that everyone goes to because you have great advice and are level-headed enough to solve problems. You are always there making the right pass or take the right shot. You have definitely won this game and ready for the next level as you graduate and start your career. I'm sure that you will continue your success. Know that you will always have a fan club cheering in the stands. Keep shooting for the stars. <laughs> Jamirian Hawkins. To our son, our firstborn, Jamarian Micah Hawkins. Today, <clears throat> we are here because you made a decision to transfer to Elon University with the hopes of being given an opportunity to play for their football team. God placed you at the right place at the right time, and he blessed you with the desires of your heart. You've played football since the age of five, and you are now graduating from Elon University as a successful scholar athlete. You have proven that you are physically, intellectually, and emotionally committed to high-level achievement in both your academic and sport endeavors. You are an incredible young man living your dreams at this very moment. Your future success will undoubtedly be blessed. We are so proud of you. We love you, and we stand by you in all your future endeavors. Blessings rain down from above from those who inspired you and are no longer here. Grandma Betty, Leon. Yeah, me, James. Special blessings from those that are here today, and especially from Grandma Ruby. We love you. <laughs> Madison Holmes. The value of having a child like you is the best gift from God. From the first day of preschool at Charlotte Lutheran with your Clifford book bag to now, 
to now being a graduate from a prestigious institution such as Elon. You have many bags of leadership, courage, good stewardship, and academic excellence that will help you navigate through this mission called life. We could not be more proud of you and all that you have accomplished. Chasing your dreams is not an easy task. It requires a lot of passion. It requires great commitment and true dedication, and you have shown those attributes. Congratulations, Maddie. We are very proud to see our little package of happiness grow into such a wonderful and mature adult. You have five people in heaven that are watching you. Grandpa Pappy, go champ. Grandpa Holmes, you are doing big things. <laughs> Granny Mungo, that's my Madison. Doreen, look at our biscuit. You are destined for greatness. Look out world, here comes Madison Holmes. Good evening. My name is Jessica Carew, and I am an assistant professor in the political science and policy studies department. Um, our first name is Christian Hooker. <laughs> Christian, you are my greatest accomplishment. I am honored to be your mother and to highlight your collegiate successes. What a blessing you have been to your family. We are all so very proud of you. Many do not know that this journey in pursuit of your education and dreams has not been easy. All of our phone calls and text messages were bittersweet, but you saw it through. This season has been filled with obstacles and challenges, but you have overcome. But God. You have grown into an extraordinary young black man who has canceled out all statistics of at risk, hopeless, and uneducated. Yes, yes. Despite the challenges, when others did not treat you well or outcomes were not favorable, you kept your composure and continued to do good. You understood the assignment. <laughs> Christian, you will inevitably be the first doctor in our family. In the lecture rooms, and on the basketball court, and when no one is watching, you have exemplified the qualities of a leader. As you prepare to receive your degree from Elon, remember that you are worthy, and your faith and hard work has paid off in this season. The sky is not the limit. We love you, Christian. Jennifer Howard. Facts, they matter. And it is an undeniable fact that your father will cry at your graduation ceremony this evening <laughs> and at the following commencement services tomorrow morning. Pride can do just that. And your mother, my Donna Broadnax Howard, and I are so very proud of the beautiful, intelligent, charming, yet strong young woman you have become over the past four years. When we were looking to have our first child, we were ecstatic. You know this story. And then a year went by, and then five, and well, it wasn't happening. And then suddenly, bam, you became a gorgeous reality on February 23rd, 2000, to our sheer delight. 22 years later, major congratulations are in order, Jennifer Nicole Howard. And it is also a certifiable fact that you, Jenny, are freaking awesome. <laughs> and your future is so incredibly bright. Keep rocking this world. And remember, you are the master of your fate, the captain of your soul. Love always, Gary and Donna Howard, your devoted mom and dad.
Hannah Hubbard. Yeah. Hannah, there's really no way to put in writing how much a parent loves their children. They're like a necessity to them, like air or water. We knew you were special the first time we saw those big brown eyes, and you've grown into more than we could ever imagine, a truly amazing young adult. You fill us with joy and hope the likes of which we cannot explain. To us, you are more precious than all the money, diamonds, and gold in the world. You mean more to us than life, and you will always be our little girl. We can't wait to see all that you will accomplish and achieve in this lifetime. Taking into consideration the long lineage of strong female role models that came before you, we won't be surprised with any of your accomplishments. But we'll be watching and supporting you with awe and amazement every step of the way. Congratulations to you on this special day and on yet another outstanding achievement, college graduation. We love you dearly, Mom dad, and the entire family. <laughs> Layla Jackson. I think I speak for all the family when I say that watching you bloom into the exceptional young woman you are today has been inspiring. I've seen you transform from a shy little girl to this absolute force of a woman. During your time at Elon, you have not only excelled academically, but you also found time to give back to, to your community. So much so that you received the Chaplain McBride Vision Award for your work as director of the Campus Kitchen. And you've done all of this while also consistently writing articles for, El for Today at Elon and the magazine of Elon. You have wanted to be a journalist for as long as I can remember, and to have a front row seat to watch you achieve your goals has been incredible. As you move on to this next chapter in your life, I want you to know how truly remarkable you are. Do not ever doubt that. You are the very definition of black girl magic, and know that as you move throughout this world, you will make us all even more proud. Kayla Jacobs. <laughs> Kayla, it has been exciting and wonderful to watch you move with determined steps on your journey at Elon. I've had the pleasure and gift of witnessing you grow as a person as you overcame obstacles, removed excuses, destroyed roadblocks, and silenced the doubting, the doubting voice from within all the while doing this with the grace and beauty of royalty. The status quo has never been your aim. You are a high achiever and greatness is your banner. We all wait with bated breath to witness the unfolding of this wonder known as Kayla. You are fully equipped for battle, but you are more ready to win. Step into your destiny with courage and boldness and watch victory become your audience. I thank God for choosing me to be your father, and it is an honor that I do not take lightly. I love you to the moon and beyond. Love, Dad. Jasmine Johnson. It seems like only yesterday when you were born weighing only one pound, ten and a half ounces. You have overcome so many obstacles in your life, which was nothing short of a miracle. As you graduate from college, there are new challenges awaiting you as you begin this new chapter of your life. You are an achiever and have made it this far. We are glad that all the hard work and endless efforts you put in have paid off. There is a reward waiting for you. God has something extraordinary planned for you to accomplish. Congratulations. And as you graduate, continue to keep God first, and you will have a successful future. We are so proud of you. Love, Mommy, Daddy, and Whitney.
Milan Jones. One day in the year 2000, my life would change forever as my mother granted me the gift to become a protector, a guide, and a lifelong annoyance. <laughs> On the 18th of June, I would become a brother. It is a strange thing to see the growth of an individual who you have known all your life, but still learn about them every day. From the early years of our young coexistence and our constant, who can prove mom likes them more contest, <laughs> to our preteen years of straight up on-site beef. And I find it funny that one day we both woke up and just agreed, you know, he and she is kind of all right. I am extremely proud of the woman that she has grown into. From the many talks and times she has vented to me over the years, I have become her living diary. To see her mental and emotional evolution is nothing short of remarkable. I thank God that he has allowed her to continue to fight and will herself through, even when she wanted to give up. Up from a past that's rooted in pain, still she rises. Love you, MJ. Kayla Lyles. <laughs> Kayla, it seems like just yesterday when you and I walked this campus and you chose Elon for the next four years of your life. Although I was ecstatic as well as excited for your starting the next chapter of your life, I was still worried about you leaving home. I cried six months before you left and had a hard time dealing with your absence in the beginning. Now. Four years later, I'm proud to say you are graduating with a bachelor's degree. I've watched you balance academics and basketball with what looked like ease. You excelled all four years on and off the court, and my respect for you grew as I watched you mature into a young woman. I can see everything that I prayed for manifesting in you, and I couldn't be more proud to be your mother. With all of that being said, I truly believe that you've only scratched the surface of what you will accomplish. Kayla, keep God first, because I believe his plan for you is so much bigger than what either of us could ever imagine. <laughs> Yukila Little. Yukila, I struggle to find the words to capture the depth of admiration and impression you have left me with. You continuously showed grace and resiliency throughout an undergraduate experience that required you to power up during the pandemic. I watched in awe as you became a vessel and vehicle for access, equity, and the dismantling of barrier myths. I wish I could claim responsibility for this, but I can't. This is yet another example of your innovative creativity. You used this unprecedented moment in time where a health pandemic intersected with a social injustice endemic to center the black American woman experience by creating a social media platform that served as a place for recruitment, research, and psychosocially safe knowledge exchange. Just recently, I watched how news of your Lumen Prize became a trending topic on The Root, Yahoo News, <laughs> Madame Noir, Black Enterprise, and more. Yukila, you're not the loudest in the room, but the sound you make shakes the foundation. Marcina Lovick. Marcina, you are a light, and the Truett Center has been touched by your presence. Shane says your creativity, attention to detail, and passion for building bridges across difference have made Better Together a truly successful program. You made your mark as an interfaith intern, 
taking leadership roles for Elon's beloved traditions, Holly and Festival of Lights and Luminaries. Allison speaks glowingly of your skillful mentorship of new interns and your infectious joy and laughter. You pour passion and dedication into all that you do and it shows. My favorite thing about you is your love and care for your family. From helping your mom with your siblings, guiding a cousin through kindergarten homework, or teaching your grandmother dance moves from your online class, <laughs> you are a person who others can always count on. There is no more beautiful way to live than that. Now you get to shine that light into the world so everyone will be graced by the beauty that is you. Blessings for the journey. Hi everyone, my name is Rochelle Ford and I'm a professor of strategic communications and the dean of the School of Communications. Hunter McIntosh. Dear Hunter, it was a struggle to drive away from Elon three years ago because you are the prime example of a piece of my heart walking outside of my body. I was confident that you would excel both academically and athletically at Elon, and you did not disappoint. Your focus, discipline, work ethic, and drive, which have, you have displayed since birth, has brought you to this day. I thank God for blessing me with you. As your day one, I'll always remember your roots, and I want you to spread your wings as you soar onto the next phase of your life. Love, Mom. Malik Medley. Malik, what can you say about a kid like you? I knew you would succeed in college, and you have. You have done everything a parent hopes and wishes their child would do, and with perseverance and dignity. You are one of the most humble people I know. Your dad and I are so super proud of you and all that you have done these past four years at Leon. Know that I am now and will forever be your biggest fan. Love, Mom. <laughs> Michaela Medley. Dear Michaela, sweet Michaela, I cannot believe how fast these past four years have gone by. Well, at least based upon your dad and my perspective, LOL. <laughs> From the moment we first stepped foot on this campus years ago during your brother's track meet to the time we took our first tour during your junior year of high school to our fourth tour during your senior year, we knew this was the school for you. We just patiently waited for you to realize it too. It was truly our pleasure watching you blossom into the smart and phenomenal woman you are today. Like most of the students at this prestigious university, your work, you have worked hard your entire life to not just get here, but also to succeed here. It was no easy feat, but you did it. Words cannot express how proud we are of you. We stand proud and with bated breath, waiting to see where God leads you from here. And now in the words of Maya Angelou, always remember to do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. Love always, mom.
Justin Mingos. Mr. Justin Mingos, you have exemplified excellent research skills, internships, and academic qualities of a high achiever. As a biology major, you have risen to the occasion and stood out as one of the most dedicated and passionate students of high achievement. I know you will continue to fulfill your life dreams of becoming a vegetarian physician leaving your mark on multicultural African-American history. For all who follow you and who are looking for a mentoring guided human light. So shine bright, persevere, impact change. The world awaits your professionalism from the loins of, my, of many ancestors through the generations up through your parents community and university mentors and leaders of today. You have arrived and now soar with greatness. This is your season. The future awaits your plethora of outstanding qualities. Set your mark, fulfill your calling and purpose. We are proud of you and continue and are counting on you. Congratulations. Austin Moore. Austin, to say I am proud of you is an understatement. I knew from the moment you stepped foot on Elon's campus, you found your college home. And I found peace knowing that you were going to be just fine. You became a trailblazer who never backed down from any challenge. You accomplished so much in the past four years and you are leaving a legacy behind you as you take the world by storm. During your time at Elon, you boldly forged ahead to new challenges. I admire how big the world is in your eyes. I love how humbly you allow God's grace to lead you. I love the vision of the future you're creating for yourself. Austin, I love you and I'm honored to be your mom. The Ghanaian proverb states, we must go back and reclaim our past so we can move forward, so we can understand why and how we came to be who we are today. As you embark on your new journey, never forget where you came from and all the people and experiences that led you to where you are now. You continue to make all of us proud. Love, Mommy. Brittany Wadike. My daughter Brittany is a warrior. She has braved many battles over these four years and has proven victorious. I have seen her been knocked down, limited, and overruled, but never defeated. She has demonstrated to me her fierce determination and resilience, and these traits have come to define her. She is a double major, a triple minor sensation set to embark on the next exciting chapter of her life. She has faced so many obstacles, but this has served to make her stronger, braver, and more admirable. Congratulations, my dearest, beautiful daughter. This is a proud moment for you, and as we celebrate this milestone, I want you to remember that you made this happen, and I'm in awe of your accomplishments. You are my hero, and I know that success will continue to follow you in everything you do. We love you. Aubrey Oklu. <laughs> Aubrey, it's been our joy to watch you grow and achieve so much these past four years. We are proud of your accomplishments and the confident, remarkable man you have become. 
It took a lot of hard work and perseverance to achieve this goal. We know you feel great about what you've accomplished and we hope you'll continue to be a person who shows up day in and day out for those things that are worthwhile and important in life. Graduation is like a bridge to the next chapter of your life. Everything that got you here, hard work, drive and confidence is going to carry you across to the future you deserve. Keep on growing. Keep adding to the goodness and beauty in the world. Keep developing those unique dreams and talents that make you who you are. Congratulations with lots of love and pride, Mom. Rebecca Oliver. <laughs> Rebecca, from your early school, school <laughs> from your early school years, you have been an exceptional student and a natural leader with strong will and integrity. I remember your third grade teacher telling your father and me how you resolved a friend group conflict through your power of persuasion and compassion. Your Elon years have been no different. You have proven yourself an exceptional student, a natural leader, and a woman of strong will and integrity. Now you launch into post-collegiate adulthood. Our family cannot wait to see, what, to see what your bright future holds. And when challenges come, always remember that you are still that leader, problem solver, and person of strong will and integrity, just like in the third grade. We love you more than you ever can know. Go get them. <laughs> Cassidy Perry. <laughs> My dearest Cassidy, Congratulations on reaching this exciting milestone. It's been a pleasure getting to know you over the past two years. I remember meeting you during our winter trip to Ghana where you studied African dance. When I first met you, I remember thinking, how quiet you seem. But then I had the honor of watching you dance and I was literally in awe. What I interpreted to be a quiet demeanor was a force of nature, a young woman that is unstoppable, unchallengeable, and simply, when she dances, unforgettable. As you prepare to graduate and begin the next phase of your life's journey, I charge you to carry with you all that you have learned during your time at Elon and to remain dedicated to your passions even when the road seems difficult. Hear me when I say, keep walking, stomping, running, sprinting into your calling, and don't let anything or anyone slow you down. Destiny is waiting for you. Go get it. Nyla Rivers. <laughs> Nyla, how honored and blessed I am to be your mother. Where has time gone? When you entered Elon four years ago, I had mixed emotions. Happy, but a bit apprehensive about you leaving home. Needless to say, I am beyond proud of the woman that you have become. You have excelled above and beyond my expectations. Saying that I am proud of you is an understatement. I know your future is bright, and I'm excited to watch you as you continue to blossom. Congratulations, Nyla. God's greatest and richest blessings. The best is yet to come. Love you to pieces, Mom. Good evening. 
My name is Musa Idris, Associate Professor of Anthropology. Tyler Russ. <laughs> Tyler, or as I prefer to call you, Miss T, it has been a blessing to get to know you these past months. You are a smart, strong, and proud young woman, an inspiration to me and to many others. As we explored France this past January, learning with and from each other, I like to think that we helped fulfill Dr. King's dream as a son of former slave owners and the daughter of former slaves sat down together at the table of brotherhood and sisterhood. I have received many awards in my long career, but none means more than you asking me to present you with this precious Kentish stall so deep with ancient and contemporary meaning. As you wear it for commencement, know that I will be cheering for you on that day and always. <laughs> T.K. Staten. Tikeo. Takeo Staten. Sorry. Tikeo Staten. Tikeo, from the moment we sell you, our hopes, faith in, and prayers to God for your success began. Through each milestone, accomplishment, including bringing you here to Elon University four years ago, we have celebrated and truly enjoyed. Now, four years later, on the time I might add, you have developed into a strong, ambitious leader mentor and cultivator of people. Your impact of those around you will become clearer and more evident. As now a legacy member of this university, you have added to its culture and ours. You are embarking on a wealth of new experiences that we are certain that you will meet with your courage, smile, and know how to be great. Me and your mother are blessed to be your parents. We love you and are extremely proud of you. God bless. <laughs> Queen Asata Stevens. To our baby girl, we have, watched, we have watched you willingness to discover your best self, how tirelessly and durability you have learned how to engage with all the people around you to find your own unique place in this world. Whether it was with politics, social justice, or the pivots you made when you decided to become the founder of the first all-black a cappella group at Elon University. Queen Asada Nefertiti Stephens, we cannot explain how much you're loved. You have given your parents and family many reasons to be proud of the woman you have become. But the proudest moment for your parents is telling others you are our daughter. And although you are spreading your wings, always remember that we will be there for every step of your journey. Although both of your grandmothers and one of your grandfathers have transitioned I know they see you and are very proud of you. So go walk that walk tomorrow, sweetie, with the ancestors right by your side. Love, mom, and dad. <laughs> Caitlin Strickland.
Caitlin, each student's university journey is a unique narrative. You brought a sharp intellect and determined spirit to Elon, and your time with us has been further characterized by full engagement, remarkable leadership, and exceptional fortitude. Your peers and professors have grown from the perspective, insight, keen questioning you bring to our community. Even as you have grown as a person and professional, standing at this gateway to the next phase in your lived journey, know that we continue to stand with you, encourage you in new endeavors, celebrating your future successes, and watching with pride how you leave your mark on the world. I know you will be courageous, bold, and resilient. I wish you joy, fulfillment as well in the years ahead. Congratulations. Kenny Sharp. <laughs> Dearest Kenneth, your family has gathered here today, hopeful, excited, and proud to celebrate your college's graduation. All your life, you have marched to a steady but fervent beat. You have completed all the work and preparation to get you here. Your journey now continues beyond this campus and all of your yesterdays begin to yield fruit today. We know that you will be successful, but our prayer is for you to continue to strive to do what makes you truly and wholly happy. Let your passion be your guide and chase your dreams so that you may see them come to life vibrantly and brilliantly. We are so proud of the kind, respectful, and empathetic person you have become. As you go into your new forever, reflect back on what you have built here and go forth knowing that you can do it all. We will always be here to love and support you, and you, in turn, will be our North Star. Sarah Tali. Sarah, I have watched you grow into an amazing young lady of resolve, fortitude, and resilience who did not allow challenge to define her outcome, but who embraced her destiny with the strength to set her own path. Take pride in how far you have come in everything you have accomplished. Be thankful to God for the windows of opportunity he has opened it for you and continue to pray, believe, and have faith in how far your dream will take you. I am so proud of you as you embark upon this new season in your life. And I love you very much. Love, Mom, Pamela Tali. <laughs> Jaylan Thomas. I have only known you for a short time, but feels like a lifetime. One of your favorite lines to me is, I got you, Miss Marlene. <laughs> Let me know what you need. On the flip side, when you're not behaving your, be your very best, you will say, now, Miss Marlene. You know me. <laughs> you have shown athletic and leadership skills on the football field as a CAA Offensive Player of the Week, CAA Freshman of the Year, and the offensive player of the, of the year. Not only you are active on the football field, but also dedicated to outreach in Alamance County, which says a lot with you being from Georgia. I think most memorable moment of you was the look on your face as they talked about you unbeknownst to you at the Black Excellence Award, where you received the Elon Experience of Academic Service Learning Award. Congrats on graduating with a major in human service studies and minor in coaching. I wish you every success in your future endeavor as you attend Sanford University. Jalen, remember, for nothing will be impossible with God. Luke 137. <laughs> D 
Danielle Thomas. Danielle, I recall when you told me that you decided to attend Elon University. I asked you, why Elon? You said, Mom, I prayed, and that's where God is leading me. And by the way, Elon is in the Bible. <laughs> At that moment, I knew that you hearing and obeying the voice of God signified that you had developed the character, maturity, and leadership skills needed to succeed at Elon and in life. In your role as a, leader, as a leadership fellow, your work at the creed as a roommate or as a friend, you have expressed a strong sense of purpose to follow your heart, value diverse perspectives and steadfast, be steadfast and faithful as you strive to making the world a better place for all. May you continue to follow your passion, remain authentic and God-fearing, make bold decisions, and use your gift to change the world for the better. Daniel, you are an amazing, smart, beautiful, and determined young woman. You inspire me. Our family is proud of you. I am especially proud to be your mom. God bless you and prosper you. Good evening. I'm Portia Wade, and I am a lecturer in the Dr. Joe Watts Williams School of Education and also an Elon graduate alumni. And now for our graduates, Brianna Torres. Brianna, you are a phenomenal daughter, woman, scholar, advocate and person. I am so proud of you and I learn from you every day. Your education and experience at Elon has been my education. Your enlightenment has been my enlightenment. Your hope has been my hope. You are such a gentle giant who shakes the earth but only to plant new seeds in uncovered finely tilled soil a giant who roars like thunder, but with compassion, understanding, and higher perspective. I believe you have been equipping yourself for many years to walk taller on this earth as the mighty giant you are, planting seeds of hope, inclusion, kindness, diversity, equity, liberty, and freedom. You are the proclaimer you are the sower, you are the water, you are the sun, you are the moon. You are my teacher, my friend, my daughter, and my forever baby girl. May we all stand happily in the shadow of gentle giants just like you. Congratulations, Brianna. I am so proud to be your mom, and I love you. Ensika Udo. It is a great pleasure and honor of mine to speak on Ensika's accomplishments as a graduating exercise science major. Ensika joined the Center for Race, Ethnicity, and Diversity Education Office as a student coordinator over two years ago. His passion and eagerness made a difference with the alumni a community. His dedication and passion with his studies, commitment to discovering more avenues to implement diversity and inclusion into the exercise science curriculum, and his internship with the Alamance Regional Medical Center made him a standout student. I'm looking forward to seeing his progression in the next chapter, his career. His work ethic gives me complete confidence in his future. Congratulations and Sika. <laughs> 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 
Julian Vandarama. I don't think there's much to say, Julian, that you don't already know. <laughs> These last four years, being able to develop the unique relationship that you and I have has been nothing but pleasure. Your quick wit, your humor, and your ability to make me laugh out loud has made working with you and being in community with you nothing but a joy. We joke that you'll take over the world quickly and quietly, and I truly believe that. I'm often impressed by the way you carry yourself in the professional space and have always known if anyone will get it done, Julian will. Watching how much your friends love you despite your careful and calm demeanor has warmed my heart because I know they see in you what I also see. I'm honored to share a birthday with you, such an icon. And I can't wait to tell people one day that, hey, I knew him. I'm honored to have been a part of your Elon journey and thank you for all you have given me and to this university. <laughs> Kalik Van Otu. Kalik, you are my favorite. Well, well, not really. Wanted to see if you're paying attention. <laughs> you're one of my favorites. I was presently surprised that you asked me to present your stole, which is an honor. I have seen you put the Creed's mission of advancing the conversation on student diversity, education, through workshops, and at a student organization fair. I said to myself, oh, he's doing it. You have won many hats and more many hats during your four years on campus. Your jobs include working in the athletic department, student coordinator in the creed, resident life as an RA, and a participant in BSU. You serve with professionalism as a member of ENN, Elon Society of Professional Journalists, the President's Student Leadership Advisory Council for the past three years, and this accomplishment has been done while studying as a journalism major and earning a minor in sports management. I'm so happy for the next chapter of your life as you pursue a law degree. I will leave you with this scripture, Isaiah 40, 31. Take flight and continue to help make the change this world needs. Kobe Williams. Kobe, I have been so proud to witness your college journey. During your time at Elon, it has been a privilege to watch you become exceptional in every way. With your leadership, you have inspired us. Through your entrepreneurial vision, you have seen a better world to make us hopeful. Through your intelligence and thoughtfulness, you have brought us joy. Through your sense of humor and kindness, you have shown us that life, though challenging at times, can also be full of life, light, and grace. Your passion and drive as an entrepreneur knows no bounds. Your leadership founding the Black Entrepreneurship Initiative and chairing the Black Innovation Matters Conference and the Elon Innovation Challenge speak to your commitment, dedication, and focus. You always rise up to the challenge and shine in all that you do. The world is waiting, and there is no doubt that you will have a huge impact on this world. As you embark on the next chapter, you'll continue to do great things in your life. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. you. Mia Wilson. Mia, I am incredibly proud of the graduate standing before me today. It has been wonderful getting to know you these past two years. I am honored to have witnessed your tremendous growth in so many ways, academically from research methods to senior seminar 
as a researcher learning how to read a journal article to nuanced discussions on maternal health and equities and significant, significantly contributing to manuscripts as a health equity ambassador, soaking up all the knowledge and wisdom around you to apply critical analysis skills in class discussions, research, and in your work in the community through your internship role. Perhaps the most important growth of all has been your personal growth. Your confidence has increased and you have become a leader in your own right. You are also hilarious and an absolute joy to be around. Congratulations on all you have accomplished during your time at Elon and all that I know you will do in the future. I couldn't be more proud. Rohan Wilson. <laughs> My dear Rohan, what a joy it has been getting to know you these past four years. You came to us as a first year odyssey from Atlanta, a little nervous about what the college life would hold for you. Over time, you've grown and blossomed to a most remarkable, caring, and compassionate young man. At such a young age, you exemplify steadfastness of character. Whether you are dealing with struggling elementary school students and their parents, or with university presidents, donors, and trustees, we get to witness your rock-solid integrity. I know you're going to be a wonderful force for good in this world. I am blessed to have had the privilege to be acquainted with you. I will be proudly watching as you fulfill your potential and your purpose. Imani Withers. <laughs> Imani, you did it. You are one of the most hardworking students I've ever met. And it has been such a pleasure to watch you grow into a confident, passionate, and exceptional woman. You have left your mark on the Elon community and the Office of Sustainability. will continue to build upon all the work you've done as the environmental justice intern. Your time at Elon hasn't always been easy, but you've kept going, and now all of that perseverance has paid off. I'm so proud of you, and I look forward to seeing your impact on the world around you. I know you are bound for wonderful things. Congratulations on all your achievements. Jordan Young. <laughs> Jordan, your steps have become strides towards success, and we are so proud of you and what you have accomplished these four years. Your God-given gifts, consideration for the other, and the hard work you have put into the development of your skills will open doors you have yet to see. We, your family, congratulate you on this achievement and stand with enthusiastic expectation where this will lead. You got this, we got you, and God's got us. <laughs> Cullen Zeno. I remember the day you left. I was preparing for work and you were going to visit friends. You left the house and I guess you thought about it and came back because you didn't tell me goodbye. <laughs> but you returned and we embraced and had a brief conversation because we didn't want to get too mushy. LOL. <laughs> In these last four years, you've seen some ups and downs, but you never gave up. I really don't know if you understand how talented you are. We are very proud of you and your accomplishments. 
in a couple days, you will join the rest of us adults in the real world. <laughs> I encourage you to embrace it, make the most of it, and not try to carry the weight of it on your shoulders. You are destined for greatness, son. We've been seeing your work ethic since middle school. When you reach that point of greatness, we will be right there with you to cheer you on. Good luck in your future endeavors. Keep reaching for the stars. We love you. And most of all, God bless you. Let's all give our graduates a round of applause. <laughs> Next, I would like to invite Dr. Buffy Longmire Avital, Associate Professor of Psychology, Program Coordinator for African and African American Studies and Director of the Black Women Project to the stage for our closing remarks. That will never get old. <laughs> As we close, there are a number of people that we would like to recognize this evening. We would like to take a moment to thank the Office of the President, the Office of Alumni Engagement, and the African and African American Studies Department for their support of donning of the Kente ceremony. We would also like to extend a special thank you to the Donning of the Kente Planning Committee for their work in the planning and coordination of this ceremony. Will the committee please stand and be recognized? And last, but certainly not least, thank you to all families, friends, and special guests for your continued love and support of today's honored graduates and for your attendance at today's donning of the Kente ceremony. At the conclusion of our processional, we invite you to join us for a reception to celebrate our graduates in the Mosley Student Center. But I'm not letting you go yet. <laughs> this year's closing remarks will be done in two parts. I know for a fact that there are at least some people in this room that will know the ending of this verse. We built this city. We built this city. We built this city on? Thank you. <laughs> My apologies if this iconic song by Starship is now stuck in your head. Fun fact, this song was a hit the same year I started kindergarten. <laughs> Colleagues, friends, families, and most importantly, graduates, we are in a city, or more accurately, a space and a moment that was built by Deidre Smith. Since 2017, Deidre has worked tirelessly, often in the background, organizing and creating this city, this space. This is a space not built on rock and roll, but built first on the shoulders and vision of Deidre. And so, as we gather tonight and tomorrow to say our goodbyes to this leg of the journey for our class of 2022 graduates, we must also recognize those in our community who are moving on to new chapters. I asked Deidre if I could reenact the final scene from Dirty Dancing, <laughs> complete with me jumping off the stage and leading a procession of faculty and staff to her. She quickly said no <laughs> and informed me that she would be livid. <laughs> 
So I will have to settle for offering my deepest and most humble thanks for giving black identified graduates of Elon and transplants who survived their own experiences at historically white institutions a grand moment to heal, be seen in all levels of our complexity, and to be celebrated. Thank you, dear friend. I think I can speak for most when I say that it is not often that you find yourself mending a broken heart because someone must move on while simultaneously being overjoyed by what you know lies ahead of them. So you don't get to stay in the background right now. I've been instructed to bring you forward into the light. <laughs> Part two, <laughs> I have reflected much on the importance of space and the privilege of safety within space. Just a few days before the mass shooting, massacre, in a Buffalo supermarket, I received a copy of a book in the mail. It was the unabridged transcripts from the impeachment trial of Governor Holden. The transcripts contain the unedited testimony of black residents in Alamance County, detailing the horrors of anti-black violence at the hands of the KKK. I couldn't read it all, but as I skimmed the pages, I felt the terror of the residents who were pulled from their own homes or forced to flee to fields behind their houses to lie in the grass overnight, seeking shelter from a racist storm. As black people in the American land, we exist within an illusion that to seek out space or shelter is to find safety. Yet space, shelter, and safety are basic human needs and rights. They are the foundation for our ability to move throughout the world, to take leaps, and to evolve. The history of our people is bursting with stories where space Shelter, safety, was unequivocally denied and violently ripped away. To be black in America is to live with an understanding that the ownership of space and its assumed safety is not freely granted, easily achieved, nor to be expected. But we relentlessly pursue it. We march for it. We fight for it. We vote for it. For as many documented and undocumented incidences of shattered spaces of safety and security that can be found throughout our history on this soil, there are equal if not more instances where we have built, rebuilt, and reclaimed space. Where we have offered each other the safety the rest of the world would not. As students, in perhaps the most uncertain of times in recent history, you sit in this space, in this moment, bringing with you all the spaces and shelters you have configured throughout your time at Elon. You bring with you a collection of moments, perhaps too few, perhaps an abundance, where you, will, where you were able to breathe and be without any gaze upon you. Students, sit in this moment, in this space, and look beyond the lights, the chairs, the decor, the building itself, and embrace that this space, this moment, this shelter of safety is not constructed from brick and mortar, 
but from the people who have been with you throughout this journey. This space, moment, shelter of safety is ancestral and generationally infused. Our spaces, moments, shelters of safety are built from the enduring souls of black folks. I am an applied developmental psychologist by training. When I teach lifespan development, I always do a section on attachment theory. Now, I will not use this time to offer a critique on how initial assessments of attachment are Eurocentric. You must take my class for that. <laughs> but I will offer that an ideal attachment is one where the child uses their caregiver as a secure base, a point of reference, an anchor to return to from their explorations of new things and places. That person is for the child an embodiment of shelter and space. As a black mother, I spent countless hours in conversation with the universe, God, willing, praying, and hoping for the safety of my two sons as they navigate the spaces they must inhabit on their journeys. I have no choice but to raise them with the understanding that what might appear to be shelter or safety for others may not be for them. But I have also had the honor of teaching and modeling for them how to recognize when you have found that space, that shelter for safety during a racist storm. I will have done this correctly, parenting, if they know, just like I do with my mom, that I will always be that shelter for them. Tonight, whether you realize it or not, you identified an embodiment of shelter and space. Perhaps this was a person who has always been there or someone you connected with during your time here at Elon. As you walk out these doors, wearing your kente soul and drape it over your shoulders again tomorrow to claim your space as a graduate of Elon, remember that your stole is a symbol of the shelter that at least one person constructed for you. And it is an invitation to be embraced by an expansive community of alumni, faculty, staff, family, and friends that spans decades, struggles, resistance, and hope. Friends, colleagues, families, and students, we built this city. We built this city. We built this city on the audacious pursuit and promise of safety. So graduates of 2022, unapologetically seek out and claim your space with the assurance that this Elon shelter of safety throughout all storms will ever endure. Thank you and congratulations.